Hello, boys and girls. It's time for another Read Aloud with Reggie. Today's book is Bedtime for Little Bears by David Bedford and Carolyn Pedler. Little Bear and his mother had spent a long sunny day exploring in the snow. It's getting late, said Mother Bear. It will soon be bedtime. Let's go home, Little Bear. Little Bear flumped down in the snow and wiggled his tail. I'm not sleepy, he said, and I don't want to go to bed yet. Mother Bear smiled. Shall we take one last walk, she said, and see who else is going to bed? Little Bear looked around. Who else is going to bed, he wondered. Mother Bear stretched up tall to find out. Look there, she said. It's Little Owl, said Little Bear. Little Owl likes to stretch her wings before bedtime and feel the whisper of the soft night breeze in her feathers, said Mother Bear. Little Bear scrambled onto his mother's shoulders. I like flying too, he said. As Mother Bear climbed to the top of the hill, Little Bear felt the wind whispering and tickling through his fur. Then he saw someone else. Who's that? said Little Bear giggling. And what's he doing? Baby Hare is having a bath in the snow, said Mother Bear, so that he's clean and drowsy and ready for sleep. I like snow baths too, said Little Bear. He dived into the snow and scattered it around, plopping a big soft snowball on Mother Bear's nose. Little Bear and his mother laughed as they flopped down together in a heap. Are you sleeping now, Little Bear? His mother asked as they lay together in the snow, watching the first bright stars twinkling in the sky. Little Bear blinked his tired eyes as he tried not to yawn. I want to see who else is going to bed, he said. We'll have to be quiet now, said Mother Bear. Some little ones will already be asleep. Look over there, whispered Mother Bear. Little Fox likes being cuddled and snuggled to sleep by his mother. Little Bear pressed close against Mother Bear's warm fur. I like cuddles too, he said. We'll be home soon, said his mother softly, but Little Bear had just seen somebody else. I can see whales, he said, turning to look out across the starlit sea. Little Whale likes his mother to sing him softly to sleep, said Mother Bear. Little Bear sat with his mother and watched the whales swimming by until they were gone, leaving only the soothing hum of their faraway song. Then he yawned. Are we nearly home yet? He said drowsily. Little Bear climbed onto his mother's back, and as he was carried home, he watched the colors that flickered and brushed across the sky while his mother sang him a lullaby. I like songs too, he told his mother. And now, said Mother Bear very softly, it's time for Little Bears to go to sleep. Little Bear nestled into his mother's soft fur and when she gave him a gentle kiss, good night. Little Bear, was already fast asleep. The end. I think Reggie is fast asleep too. Thank you boys and girls for joining us for another Read Aloud with Reggie. Bye.